Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kitty Loops. So, in our last episode, we managed to gain a little bit more territory. And when I say a little bit more territory, I actually mean just one more county. We took over Kexholm, um, which was formerly known as... Uh, Cook... Cook Salami? Or something? Um, from Estonia. And we've been kind of eyeballing... Attacking Lithuania. Wait a minute. What happened to your prestige and piety? Oh, right! It was your daddy -o that had all the uh, prestige and piety. And you've got nothing. Hmm. Right, I remember now. That, that all happened in our last episode. And in our last episode, I also asked the question, What can I do to make my rating better? And it turns out that the answer was in front of my face, behind my back the whole time. And by that, I mean that I had actually done this before, but I could just completely forgot about it because A, I'm an idiot, and B, I'm a complete moron. Venice is the answer, and Venice is... What the... Pro... Profil fur. What the fuck? Venice is owned by some Norse dude? What the shit is this? Some eight-year-old Norse dude rules Venice? And it's no longer, like, its own independent... High Chieftess Susanna, the Chaste of Croatia. Who apparently killed her own husband. She's scarred. Paranoid, cynical, brave, kind, one-eyed, stressed. She's like the most badass female character I've ever seen in the whole entire game. Holy shit. <laughs> like one-eyed, scarred, and my god, what have you been doing, miss? And she's also chased. I mean, you'd assume that she'd, you know, be, you know, banging out babies and left and right and shit. And in fact, I would, if I saw her walking down the street, I would assume that she had actually impregnated men, not the other way around. But anyways. So I'm not actually sure if Venice is still the most profitable place in the world, but I'm guessing that even though maybe their capital holding might not be, maybe the rest of their uh, places are. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to finish raiding the Bishopric of Rochester and the City of Sandwich, and then we'll just beeline our way over to Venice, loot the sh shit out of that, and then um, try to stop being broke as a joke. I think that's a good idea. And in fact, you know what? Let's just go ahead and um, assault the holding. Just burninate everything. 345 dudes. Oof. It's a little steep. But you know what? That's okay. Time is of the essence, and as I love to say, needs must when the devil drives. So let's go ahead, go over to Venice. Uh, and uh, guys, please, no sightseeing. I know you guys like to take the slow route, um, because you're all into taking selfies and shit. Although, selfies back in these days, especially for the Vikings, were vastly different from the selfies that uh, people like to take these days. I mean, these days, you just pull out your cell phone, camera, um, your camera phone, camera, and then you just snap a picture. But back in these days, uh, well, the rest of Europe had to bring artists with them, and then the artists would uh, paint their selfies for them, which, in fact, were just portraits and not, not at all selfies. Whereas with the Vikings, it was even more complicated because they had to bring uh, stone tablets and chisels and basically just hammer away at those... Um, and make runic portraits of themselves. And if they wanted to do it th uh, for themselves, uh, it, like, as an actual selfie, then that was even more complicated. I'm hoping that Venice isn't protected? Nice. It is definitely condomless. Perfect. Let's go raid this shit. You usurper dude? Are you... Are you really trying to live up to your name here? Come on, Jarl... Ketlimund the second? Wait. Why do you have Jarl Ketlamon the second? That's not how- that's not our Norse naming convention, is it? Or maybe it is, I don't know. Stop your shit. Or should I imprison him? Might not be the worst idea in the world. Actually, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. 
What is happening over here? Uh, yeah, okay. You know what? Let's try to imprison him and hope that he rebels. Fuck. Shit. Ooh, I can't imprison him either. So how about I humiliate him? Mm, I'm actually hoping that this will make him hate me. So let's just humiliate him. You order Yal Ketlemund II be stripped of his clothing, his hands and feet bound before he is slung up on horseback. The foul windbag will be paraded around your camp. Let all bear witness to his humiliation. Now that is entertainment. Great. So he can be stressed, humbled, or shy. Well, didn't really work out, but that's okay. If it means that he hates me more and is more willing to plot against me, then I'm all for it. Because the next time he starts plotting against me, I'll try again and maybe hope that he um, actually rebels against me this time. Alright, Venezia. Going to burn you down. Uh, that one, maybe we shouldn't try to burn down so quickly. Oh, right, that's a barony. That's why. It's going to take a little while to siege that down, too. That's unfortunate. Ooh. That's looking real bad. I'm actually wondering if maybe I can split off my um, boats and then get them to send some of the loot back. Wait a minute. Is one of the boats carrying all the loot? How are you carrying more loot than you can hold? You know what, I'm not about to kick a gift horse in the teeth. So why don't you just go back? I'm hoping my marshal is still trying to organize raids. Great. Um, I know you're carrying more than you're allowed to, but please don't lose any of the gold on your way over. Uh, if you actually spill some over, um, for every gold doubloon that you spill over, I'm going to chop off your fingers. Which, I guess, makes it a little bit more difficult for you to be... Um, Good sailors and all that shit. We returned with almost 700 ducats. Perfect. We're still not out of the um, woods yet, but at least we're a little closer. Oh, right. We can change our laws again, but we do need the support of one more person. Who here would like a good replacement? So our Sirius and Spymaster and Marshal, maybe. Not our Chancellor though, no. Our, our Chancellor loves us. Um, I'm thinking we go with the Marshal? Marshal is the correct choice indeed. We'll replace you with Starkather, the Chief of Finnmark, who is willing to bend and spread his soft, supple cheeks. Um, and I think we should have enough council power to get late administration going. I really don't know if it's going to be um, useful to us. Oh, we can actually abolish it. Really? Huh. I... We would be getting rid of the uh, Advisor Minor title. So I'm thinking maybe we should actually go with this first. That way we still have the support of the Advisor? No, actually our Advisor is not supportive of us. <laughs> so I suppose we could just get rid of it, but... I'm thinking, let's just go with late administration and then we'll um, just abolish council power in the next election thing. Yeah, let's tr let, let's try this because I do want to see what what it would do as um, for a tribal council. There we go. Tribal council. Oof. I've been sitting next to my girlfriend too much while she watches uh, Survivor. Good grief. All right, boat, you can go back over. Uh, thankfully, you didn't lose a single ducat on your way back, which is actually impressive. Did this do anything? It did not. I don't think I gained anything from going late feudal administration. But that being said, though, I mean, it will come in handy later on when we do eventually become feudal. Which is still a little while, but you know what? That's okay. So we're managing to burn down the temple now or what's a dealio you know what just 
Assault it. 181 dudes, that's okay. We'll, we'll make those 180 dudes back up really quickly. With babies, obviously. And is that it? Is that Venice burnt to the ground? Yeah, I think that wasn't quite as impressive as I, uh, as I thought it would be. Dag, what's your problem, Dag? What is your major malfunction, Dag? Oh, he's a lunatic, that's why. Got it. Wait, what's your problem? Did I f Oh no, you hate me. Got it. Can I possibly imprison you? No, I can't. Can I do anything? Maybe incite rebellion in your old heart? No. Hmm. Can I maybe make this guy part of my council? Do I really want to? Nah, it's fine. Let's get our troops back on. Um, great. Demands are just. Yes, they are. And is Rome currently suffering from disease? No, but I think the water tile is. So I'm actually going to have myself not lead the troops. And then we'll go ahead and raid uh, Rome. Pope, how many troops you got? Not enough to defeat me, I don't think. Guys, let's do this. Let's capture the Pope. I want that other achievement to um, to sacrifice the Pope to the blot and shit. That'll be fantastic. I think the majority of his troops are under Rome itself. Which means that if we burn it to the ground and then we uh, move on to the other counties, I don't think they'll be able to raise any troops to retaliate. That's kind of the thinking anyways. I could be wrong. I usually am, so I've just come to expect myself to be wrong most of the time. You have imprisoned my content, dude. You unbelievable sack of shit. What an asshole. As my troops ransacked the Temple of Roma, they uncovered an interesting relic that the Cardinal Basilio had hidden away there. A longsword. Wow. That is a very interesting relic. Nope, it's not like we uh, see longswords all the time. Nope, not at all. First longsword I've ever seen. Yep, mm-hmm. It's not like we haven't fought uh, Christians before. No. And it's not like we ourselves have uh, swords too, right? Nope. What the fuck? Why are you dead? Well, I'm not complaining, but... It's kind of curious. I guess he's just... Have they been warmongering? Oh, they've been fighting off the rebellion this whole time. Aha. Thank you, Lithuanian Revolt. Okay, so they've got two baronies, which we need to kind of watch out for. Oh, nice. Okay, boats, do that thing again. Split up. I'll have one of you guy. One of you guy? I'll have one of you go over to um, spend the loot. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes. Like 3,000 raiders? Really? Wait, wait, wait. Swedish warriors or raiders? Oh, no, wait. Oh, these are the prestige warriors. Ah, shit. Okay. You get these things from, um... From building legend as well. <sighs> right, of course. How could I forget? You know what? Just come back. It's fine. We'll just hold on to that debt. It's all good. It's all good. Poor chaplain died from gout. Maybe lay off on the uh, red meat a little bit. We could go with Aletta. Who is definitely more than willing to bend and spread, but I think let's go with this guy instead. Because I don't think I need as much council support right now. And then let's have you proselytize the last two old Germanic counties. Well, yeah, actually the last two Germ old Germanic counties in the entire realm. Holy shit. Even these guys have fully converted to, um, Germanic. That's awesome. I mean, it's not awesome in that the... What? Come on, just as they tr turn these guys around. Unbelievable. Fine. Uh, let's get rid of the warriors and merge up the raiders. Warriors? Just go home. I don't need you guys stirring up trouble and uh, reducing my prestige and shit. The Mazdaki faith is triumphant. Great. That is definitely relevant to me. 
It is not. I'm being facetious. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book in the art on writing poetry is in the library. I say, let's go with... It usually ends up being the other thing, right? So let's go read a book in the hopes that I actually become a falconer. And I think that... Yep, just when I wanted the opposite to happen, which happens all the time, I'm actually getting the thing that I uh, asked for. Great, the poetry book is really inspiring. I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Definitely a quality that you need and want in a Viking. Dan of Nidoros? This greed does not become you. You're an old man. Just live out the rest of your days in peaceful silence and life will be good. Probably not. Uh, raiders, get on the boat and uh, make your way over to the Pope lands where we're still busy raiding shit. Oh, Elizabeth, perfect. Fantastic. Dag? Dag, you asshole. What the fuck, guys? The raiding party? Oh, guys, you were on the boat. Where did you go? You guys jump off the boat? That is currently on land? Unfucking believable. Wow. Holy shit, those guys disperse way too quickly. Or I'm too slow, but I feel like they disperse way too quickly. My modest attempts at or to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting my sing uh, reciting or singing my poems. Well, I guess scalds do exist in Viking culture, so I guess it kind of makes sense-ish. So fame and fortune awaits. Let's be a poet. Don't you know it? We're Falkir Cox, the dull, scarred Viking. The one-legged, dull, scarred Viking who is also depressed and writing poetry. Sounds like a regular emo. Your lover has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Let's accept it. I'm kind of sad we can't name him Odin, Thor, or Loki. So you know what? We'll just go with Hunter. Kind of poignant, but you know what? That's okay. That is just the way that I roll. We're not... Ooh. Cody? Yeah, sure. Uh, Can you give me money? You don't got the 250 gold, but... He actually went into debt just to get me 250 gold. Now, if this guy ain't loyal, I don't know who is. Should I just pay you back? 40 gold? Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> we profited. That was awesome. If you guys could really um, speed up the sieging. Actually, it, it appears that the diseases are receding somewhat. So let's go back to leading the siege here. If y'all don't mind. Yeah, I think that's good. Young Ellen has finished her education in stewardship. It is evident that she has excelled in her studies. So she's become a fortune builder. Not bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't be dull. Be brave. Fan-fucking-tastic. More raiders. These guys gonna troll me again? They're gonna troll me again, aren't they? I fucking know it. I know they just... As soon as we get there, it's like, Oh, you guys are too late. I guess we're gonna go home now. Bunch of jerks. And we all have those friends, right? You know, like... You invite them to a party, and then it's obvious that they don't want to come over, but then they're all, like, they're looking for any kind of excuse to, like, weasel their way out of it. It's like, oh, wait, you're gonna have oxygen at your party? Uh, I'm allergic to oxygen. I can't go, I guess. And then, so, you deprive your party of oxygen, and so everyone is, like, you know, choking and dying, and then you're like, Hey, dude, just for you, I deprived my party of oxygen. Can you come over now? It's like, well, w w what else you got in there? Oh, well, you know, I got LED lights. LED lights! I'm like a fucking vampire when it comes to LED lights. Anyways. What the fuck was I even talking about? Oh, my God. Your dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose and your dog handlers praise his good character. Good doggo. 
Can we please pay it up? I don't want these guys to have another excuse to abandon uh, me and fucking take my gold with them or whatever bullshit excuse they have for that nonsense behavior. Wow, Pope, you do not have a lot of money here, do you? Absolute garbage. Maybe Capua? I fucking knew it. Yes. They, they saw the boats off the coast. They can see the fucking boats right there, and they're like, Ah, oh, you guys are too late. We're just gonna go home and take some of your gold with us. Well, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. You guys land. Give me some of the gold. And we're just gonna sit these guys here. And then next time they spawn, they're coming in to help. No excuses this time. Holy crap. What a bunch of bastards. Unbelievable. Phew. Anyways, so the ransacking of Rome is going well, except we're not actually gaining a ton of loot. Maybe we should actually set our sights on something else. Something a little bit more profitable, say, perhaps, Burgundy? Which is apparently fractured into the most horrific border gore ever. Holy shit. Like, if you get off on border gore, just take a screenshot right now and just... Go at it, man. Like, holy shit. I don't know anyone who would get off on Border Gore. Even Satan himself. And I talk to the guy regularly. Even Satan himself would not get off on Border Gore. Because that shit is just terrible. Anyways, I don't know why we started talking about Satan getting off on himself. Anyways, um... I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be burglar. When I went downstairs... I discovered Snurasal, or sorry, Snurasal, opening one of my letters. Well, spinning seal. Go ahead. I will teach you the ways of reading, and letters, and runes. And we have raided more camps. Great. 45 gold. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting there. I mean, it's, it's slow going, but yeah, it's okay. We didn't expect this to be a very quick journey anyways. However, we do have some pretty powerful factions. I say pretty powerful factions, but it's only two dudes. Two angry men. Bunch of jerks. I swear. You guys are the worst. Most, un most ungrateful bastards ever. If we try to attack them, will they move? Let's not attack them. I have a bad feeling about attacking those dudes, so let's actually go over to Capua. And then hope that they don't attack us? I guess the Pope disbanded his troops, maybe? I have no idea. Oh, fair bit of loot to be had here. Fantastic. Nice. Who can we imprison? Dag. Dag? Maybe you actually just feel safer in my prison, man? No? I mean... At a certain point, though... Your lunacy is just going to be more more of a problem and danger to yourself, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, we're actually halfway there with the um, burninating of this barony. We might as well just burn it to the ground then. Hope that it uh, maybe sinks into the swamp and that they build it again. And then it'll catch on fire and then sink into the swamp again. And then maybe the third one will stay up. Perhaps? I don't know. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Castles and swamps and um, water tend not to last that long. From my experience anyways. But um, things have changed a lot since I was a medieval peasant. So, could be better now. I don't know. Taking selfies have certainly gotten a lot better. Especially since it's really difficult to paint a portrait of, or of yourself. Elizabeth? Uh, just learn on your own. I'd rather not um, gain a negative quirk. Or trait just for you, quirk. What am I playing? Like fucking darkest dungeon over here. Diligent or patient? Diligent, definitely. Holy shit! Damn. This one badass character. If only she could inherit. If only she could be the next Va Viking king. Uh, Snurasal. I can already introduce you to the realm, really? Well, at least you're not... 
rowdy. Oh shit, have I not been appointing a court physician? Oh fuck me. Uh, Cody? Can you please... Well actually, he's a scholar, but he's a lunatic. I'd rather not risk my uh, life and the lives of my children in the hands of a lunatic doctor. Those things tend not to go so well, from my personal experience. Law speaker? I guess we'll give it to this guy. It's fine. If it makes him happy, who cares, right? As long as it shuts him the hell up. And I've been completely forgetting to appoint commanders because I'm not doing it automatically. Because the game tends to pick the worst characters for commandership. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with you. We'll replace you with this dude who's super old. Um, and that looks good. Obviously, we will be at the front and center. We are actually the best martial character. Really? Huh. That's fantastic. Did not expect that, but... That's nice. Hey man, stay away. I know you got more troops right now, but I'm almost done looting and burninating your uh, village. Actually, we're done. We're good. Okay, let's move back. Your daughter Ellen has asked you to consider her for the position of steward on your council. While you are sure she would be up to the task, it would be an unconventional choice, if not an outright scandalous one. Your vassals would not be happy. I would rather not piss off my vassals right now, Ellen. I appreciate the enthusiasm and thank you for the spunk uh, in the not sexual way, but uh, we're gonna have to say no for now. And I think we might need to go around raiding some of these other realms, like Burgundy, for example, because we haven't had, we haven't really made enough. Look at this! It's fucking Murphy's Law. When I have this ship parked here. Nothing spawns. And watch, as soon as I move these guys back, we're gonna get an event saying, Hey, you've got some raiding troops waiting to uh, do shit. If you don't make use of them now, guess what? They're gonna be uh, complete assholes and raid you instead like a bunch of jerks. I say, let's go with, I think, improved keeps might be a good idea here. That is what we're going for, right? Or is it military advances? I think it's both, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do improved keeps for economy. Military advances? Oh, hell yes. Remove the uh, pagan homeland attrition penalty? We can't do it. Right. It was actually not at all military advances. Got it. Cool. Well, that's egg on my face. And in the meantime, let us introduce Spinning Seal to the realm. Let's do it. You've introduced, sorry, uh, you've invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Snurasal. Snurasal. If anyone could teach me how to pronounce that, <laughs> that would be amazing. I don't know if I trust uh, Google Translate to be able to pronounce that correctly, but eh, whatever. I could just say spinning seal, because that is the very loose and very broken translation of it. He'll have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way. Something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. And they will be here soon. Nice. We're almost at our limit with this stack of uh, boats though. But let's land our troops over in Burgundy. In Provence. Our Godi is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of ours. While having introduced himself to Spinning Seal. Elif. Eilif. Eilif, I think, approaches you with an offer. Eilif is willing to spend some time teaching Spinning Seal some of the more intricate parts of the sagas in exchange for your favor. Aren't you the guy that, lend in, that like, lent me like a bazillion gold? You know what? Sure, it's fine. What harm could you possibly do, right? What the hell? This guy is seriously living up to his title as a usurper. Mine. Got man. Can I? Oh. Let's do this instead. Let's just plot to revoke his shit and get him all pissed off and uh, rebelling against me. Look at that. The entire realm wants to see him burn. As Spinning Seal introduces himself to the Godi, 
He not only presents himself with grace, but also manages to impress him by skillfully complimenting him. Um, I believe he's tutoring, tutoring you in the ways of Asagas? Why are you introducing yourself again to him? It's a really awkward thing to do at parties. It's like constantly introducing yourself to some dude. I've done that before. I've been like pissed drunk. And then um, at a party, I was like, hey man, uh, introduce myself to him. And then I did it again and again and again. <laughs> Eventually he got so pissed off, like, dude, my name's Mike, man. I like told you like five times. Like, oh shit, I'm like so blazed, man. I mean, not blazed, but I'm so drunk, man. I, I can't even see in front of my face. Anyways, as my son, uh, Spinning Seal, introduces himself to another goatee, he not only accidentally spills a beverage on his shoes, but also manages to insult all of his ancestors. Great. While having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Spinning Seal has gotten into a fight with a child of one of the visiting vassals. He tear the two children apart, but it is obvious that Spinning Seal and Astrid Steerborn's Steerborn's daughter will not ever be friends after this encounter. Wow, you are just a little shit, aren't you? Maybe it's because you're willful? But, eh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I don't care if you end up being their uh, rival. Wival? I don't care if you end up being a wival. Jarl Egil, the usurper, who is a jackass, well actually, is he the jackass? No, no, he's not the jackass. It's the old uh, other usurper jackass that we're trying to plot against. Is a renowned fighter and tactician. After having introduced himself to Spinning Seal, Egil approaches you with an offer. Egil is willing to spend some time teaching you Spinning Seal how to fight in exchange for your favor. Let's do it. My lover has avoided me for some time now, and the rare occasions when we have uh, when we meet have turned from nights of passion, I remember, to evenings of arguments and disagreement. It did not come as a shock when she told me that she no longer loves me. But it hurt more than I thought it would. Oh, Did the lady break the poor viking's heart? Oh, poor baby! Well, I mean, I guess I am a poet, so maybe he's a little bit more sensitive? I don't know. And we have apparently uh, complimented Arnbjorn. Great. Leader of the West Giedish Revolt. What the fuck? <laughs> the last of your vassals have left and Spinning Seal looks relieved. He's obviously exhausted from all the formalities, but having been introduced like this will hopefully serve him well in the future. I've done my best to groom him into a worthy heir. Nice. We're almost at capacity with this stack, so I'm thinking maybe we send these guys back or should we not let's just wait I think we're okay with waiting that's fine wow these kings of Lithuania have like the life expectancy of a freaking fruit fly holy shit this is awesome <laughs> they just can't keep on to their prestige and piety well it works out for us so you know what that's fine and in the meantime, um, I have accrued a fair bit of prestige. So let's not forget to build up some more of our... We can't, because we're broke. Got it. Cool, thanks. Cool beans. And apparently I have a daughter born to me and my former lover. Great. Um... Oh, wait. No, it's not my... Okay, good. For a second, I thought it was uh, my daughter that gave birth to my daughter, but no, we're not Zoroastrian. Not yet, anyways. That could be interesting. Zoroastrian Vikings? Holy shit. <laughs> anyways, um, let's denounce the child and uh, add more potential Wincest uh, candidates. Provence? How are you? Comment ça va? Très bien. Great. Um... Actually, yeah, that is being burninated pretty quickly. What is this? Oh, no, no, I thought that was us, but no, that's actually Lithuania having more problems upon problems upon problems. Good for us. Genoa. Genoa, Genoa, Genoa. How many troops you got, Genoa? Not a lot. This is... 70 dudes. 
we could actually attack them. But what with um, Lombardy being so close to us, I think it might not be a good idea. Alver might fancy me. Let's go ahead and give her a good tumble. And Elizabeth has become an intricate web weaver. Good job. You're going to be our Black Widow. And I completely forgot that um, we are actually going way over time. So I apologize for that. Let's end the episode off here and continue this in our next episode, where I think we will hopefully end up with a net positive with our money. So then we'll build up a whole bunch of places that'll require um, prestige and shit. Make things a little better for us. And I think we are... I mean... You know, I, I mean, the thing is, though, these raids tend to kind of drag things out a little bit. But at the same time... Um, I think it really kind of like sets the uh, base up nice and proper for when we do go feudal. At least that's kind of my thinking. And hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series despite it being uh, mostly focused on raiding. But I did say that, you know, it would be mostly focused on raiding since we're, you know, playing as Vikings and shit. But hopefully uh, we'll also have a change of pace soon enough and go back to blasting people in the asses via wars and shit. That'll be fun too. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.